Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we are in Beta 2, and specifically, we are in an asteroid field looking for targets. we got plenty of them. Uh, we are, of course, in LP TAC 98, hunting for some targets. Uh, we are bounty hunting today, and I'm going to get my warrant scanner out. Warrant scanner is very important, especially in systems of anarchy because it allows you to track down uh, bounties from other systems. So this makes your bounty hunting even more profitable. It makes it worthwhile. And a lot of times uh, in systems of anarchy, if you aggress on somebody, you're not going to gain a bounty. So it could be very possible that somebody has a bounty despite displaying you know, clean. So always good to check, see who's been a naughty boy and other regions of space but it also means that whatever bounty you gain on them if you find somebody for example that you is wanted I'll tell you what let's oh let's check out this Cobra real quick if you find somebody that's wanted like this guy very possible that he is wanted in other systems so gaining extra bounty using the warrant scanner is very very good Sometimes you can even get up to 20k. You gotta be careful though, he's a master, I'm not gonna screw with him. Um, and right now I am playing on mouse and keyboard. I do have my HOTAS set up, but uh, in order to kind of really display bounty hunting, I'd rather not embarrass myself. I have a lot of practicing to do on, on the stick. So, we're gonna see if we can find somebody that is wanted or otherwise not a master. <laughs> Seems like the AI is especially difficult to, for me today. But uh, Beta 2 has changed things around a lot. Um, it used to be that trading was pretty much the only way to effectively... Okay, he's clean, but he's somebody's shooting somebody. Um, man, you are all masters. Really? I might be able to tag in on somebody. Uh, and kind of kill steal. And that's perfectly valid. I mean, that is going to happen to you, whether it's the feds or some other bounty hunter. That's going to switch over to our weapon system. And uh, as you can see, I have gimbaled because of the stick. But uh, there we go. Let's spin up our multi-cannon. I do have split weapon systems because when you have lasers running out of their uh, their energy, you can still have damage being applied. Plus, projectiles are very good for taking out hull. If I can snag this bounty, I'll be very happy. Looks like somebody is retaliating. There we go. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Yeah! 11,000! It could have been significantly less if I did not have that uh, kill warrant scanner. So let's uh, get moving here. And uh, as you can see, there was a wake that can be scanned, and that means people can track you. So if you have a bounty, somebody is tracking you down, they can scan that with the proper module, of course, and uh, figure out where you're going and keep tracking you even further. So, you know, you're going to have to be even smarter and an even better pilot as the uh, game progresses in, you know, betas and features and... Uh, all that good stuff. Okay, so that guy's clean. Quite a lot of targets. A lot of them are jumping out. But uh, nav beacons, resource extractions, fed fighter. Okay, so the cops have shown up now. I'm gonna have to fight with them if we find somebody that's wanted. Another fed. Um, nav beacon, resource extraction, and signals. They're all good ways of finding targets, uh, finding people with bounties. And you know what? Let's go ahead and see if this person's wanted at all. Just in case. Because, you know, why not? Uh, you do have to be around a kilometer to use the kill warrant scanner, like pretty much any scan in the game, scan module. Looks like he's checking me out. Alrighty, Type 9, you are good to go. I will not bother you. But uh, bounty hunting and mission running in general has become very viable. The payouts are much better. And that's the Fed. Okay. 
Maybe I don't have as many targets left as I thought or hoped. Let's uh, go ahead and check around anyways. Bounty hunting, very fun way. Um, and especially because the ships have kind of been balanced now that you have the ability to customize your not only your loadout, but your ship modules, everything from thrusters and sensors to life support and, uh, you know, regular utilities, that kind of thing. So all of this combines with a great effect of um, giving you different ways that you can utilize ships. You can turn a hauler into a dinky little combat ship if you wanted, you know. You take out the cargo racks so you can't really haul anything, uh, and then you put in systems that'll help you fight. Or in the case of my eagle, you just get things that make you fight better. And the eagle is very viable now as a, as a ship in general. But especially for combat, I have been sitting in it for uh, probably since the second day of beta 2. And uh, very fun. Clean. I want to check you anyway, because I can. You do have to be pretty much on them with the scan. Oh, come here. Why don't you run away from me, sir? Alright, so he's still clean. But this just kind of gives you an idea of... Oh, 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 we might have some action here. Yep. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get them scanned. Um, there's a very uh, good way of scanning and immediately getting action is, for example, if I put my kill warrant scanner along with my multi cannon and just started firing my multi cannon while I scan them, they uh, do, of course, aggress immediately. So if you're not ready for combat while you're scanning, you'll have to be a little more careful. But, usually by the time you can kill them, they are scanned. Unless you're extremely, extremely good and quick about killing. Alright, come here. See you later, bucko. 450. Okay, so he didn't really have much of a bounty anywhere on him. Probably just a few small transgressions, but... Those few small transgressions puts a giant bullseye on your back. You do have to be careful, especially in open play. Um, people are going to, you know, if you accidentally tag a fed as he flies in front of you while you're hunting a target, doesn't matter. That immediately gets you a bounty, and you're going to have to deal with not only the feds, but other players that might be around that say, hey, I want to cash in on that quick. So things are definitely... Let's see what we got. What do we got? Wanted. I'm all over that. But I do want to scan him first. So about one and a half clicks is seems to be the range on it. Uh, I'm losing my scan. If you hold it down, you can just swing back around. It doesn't lose your entire scan. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now we can get to the killing part. And payday, 83.50, not bad. You know, you can get lucky uh, if you do find the right target. For example, uh, Mistral is in a kill mission that you can find in stations. And I actually have the amount of money that I have right now because I've taken that uh, mission a couple times where you hunt down a ship, you know, Mistral has a bounty on him and uh, you find him anywhere in the system. It could be in signals, resource extraction, wherever you can find him. If you're able to kill him, 
you will be able to cash in, you know, 30,000 credits. There was one for 41,000. Um, and you essentially just have to get lucky on finding those missions um, and using those to then compact the profit that you're getting while you're out is the smartest way of being a bounty hunter. Um, it does take a bit of luck, but it does take a lot of knowing where to look, knowing uh, what routes and what systems are best for bounty hunting. Um, you know, anarchy system, okay. And keeping an eye on what's going on around you. It looks like somebody's duking it out, and we are going to be all over that. Let's see. Mark Parsons. Let's see, figure out where he is. There he is, perfect. Let's go see if he's being the bad guy. Yep, there we go. Tell you what, I'm just gonna switch my fire group up and do exactly what I said. All right, oh, where'd he go? Busy, at least I didn't get rammed. Ramming is, they still seem to enjoy doing that. So, uh, he's competent, so I wanna be careful. Dang it, I lost my, my scan because I didn't want to run out of ammo. Uh, that's okay. Come on, come on. Complete, complete, complete. There we go. Now you do have to be aware, especially when you have a little ship where the position of your guns are. Always be aware that you may not uh, always be in the line of fire for your particular, come on, setup. So for example, oh no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Come here buddy. Ah, and that is always going to be a possibility. They could always charge up and run. Unfortunately, that could have been a pretty big payday, who knows. But, uh, got me a decent away, decent ways away from the extraction site. It looks like there might be some more action. So as you can see, resource extraction sites, definitely big hubs for uh, pirates and miners alike. Let's see who the new guys are, competent. All right. We like that wanted sign. Let's go ahead and boost in here real quick. Get our scan going. I don't want to alert him to my presence too quickly. He seems to be already duking it out with somebody, so... Ooh, I'm gonna have to fight for this one. Alright, come on, come on. There we go. Got the scan going. There we go. And he's a bit too busy with everybody else. No problem. There we go. Complete. Now we can just worry about turning him into space dust. Although he seems to be rabbiting pretty hard already. Don't blame him. Three on one. Not too fun to deal with. Ah, okay. No worries. Got a lot more than me to worry about, bucko. Now, it might be uh, advisable that you alternate your fire. Especially when you are fighting somebody who already has others on his rear. Because uh, whoever gets that last hit is the one that gets the kill. That's the one who gets paid. So... In order to maximize your chances on getting that, alternating what systems you have active and actively firing is important, just so that you can make sure you have a higher, higher chance of uh, actually getting that last hit on their, their hole. See if I can get it, get it, get it. Yes, perfect. Not a bad day today. Let's see, you know. Even with the improved AI, they do seem to fight better, especially with the ratings. Um, do not fight masters, you know. Cobras are a little easier for eagles and maybe even sidewinders to handle because we can outturn them. 
It means we can stay under the guns and just pound away, forcing them either to run or obviously we get the kill. This guy's clean. I don't know why I'm following him. But uh, knowing your, your ship's strengths and weaknesses is even more important the further we seem to get into, uh, into development. So always keep that in mind. But anyways, I'll go ahead and uh, leave it here with you guys. Finish with a little more killing, but thanks for stopping by. I hope this kind of helps you um, maximize your profit and maximize the explosions. That's the fun part of flying around in your own spaceship. But anyways, I think it uh, goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Fly dangerously. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button.